gonna keep the guns over now. And we gonna keep them. Look, Mike. You can't, you get, can't, you can't get rid of them. So, that's against, that's against that's our constitution. constitution. So they, they, that's what I'm saying. They just say it. Cross out what's on the uh, constitution. constitution. What built America. If you feel like you can do that, that's what I'm saying, man. We gonna abolish the 13th Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's get back down there. Get back down there. Hey, no What's up guys, we got the new Camp Phone Drop, it's live, we got new shirts, the championship ring shirt, the all team t-shirt, as you can see how it looks on my guys here, we got the new shorts just in time for the summer, and we got plenty different colorways, the website is live, we have a discount code that you can get two items and you get a 15% discount, the code is CF2023, use that at checkout, yeah man, just go cop that man, we've been working real hard, get this different quality man, we got the tags on there and everything, yes, this ain't no, this ain't a hang shirt man, yes, go sir. get that, we yes, work real sir. hard on these, website it's live. Cardio family! New Democratic star shuts down Republicans with clapback clap back of the year. Is, is she the one? No, I don't think she is the one. I think it's a blind lady. Oh, interesting. We'll see, man. But what I am asking is for you to do your job and make people feel safe, especially those that are depending on you to do it when you see cases of, you know, 48% increase in sexual assault cases. My goodness. Okay, so my That's it. I've heard enough. Okay. What are y'all talking about? The increase in sexual yeah. assault cases? They think that the social, the sexual assault cases is because of Trump, basically. So, let's hear more. Let's hear more. Yeah, let's let's hear more. Okay. Whoa, that's... That's what I'm assuming. So let's, let's keep going. So my... That's it. I'm, I, I, I've heard enough. Chairman, I yield my time. I don't know that I can get through all that I need to say in five minutes, but I'm going to do my best. Uh, we're going to start off with, with sexual abuse. I am so excited that my colleagues across the aisle care about her. sexual She's abuse, right considering that the front runner right now for, like, presidency is kind of just been found liable of sexual abuse. So I'm excited because this may mean that phone. finally... Um, some folk will back off from supporting him because we don't support sexual abusers in, in this chamber. So I'm happy okay. about this. If we're going to talk about crime and the reasons for the increase in them, we've got to talk about these root causes. Number one, the fact that we have elected legislators that won't do their job and protect people by keeping these weapons off the streets. That's oh. number one. Number two, we are still reeling from... That was the gun control thing? Yes, basically. Well, uh, so how could Trump possibly have made abuse go up um, in, a, in so, assault, basically? She was getting ready to say that. We, we she says, up, but what do y'all think? That is, I, don't I don't think know. that's on the can person. One man, I think that's on the person and how he was writing. I don't think somebody would really be like, you know what, I'm going to sexually assault this woman. Because president. Donald Trump said, grab a boat of pussy. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I mean, My president grabbed a boat of pussy. And so I mean, I, even if he does get in trouble for that, Trump's not going to come save him. So, I mean, it's no way that he can correlate that with Trump, I believe. I me, that's me personally. But why is he going to keep going? We should figure out. All right, but that, that is a weird stat. That is pretty crazy. Like, what is the increased from? I ain't see a lot of people walk around with their guns after maybe about two years ago. Well, you wasn't looking, buddy. Yeah, they I thought he was in there. Yeah, when I was in the Tennessee, but I seen a little bit more, you know. I seen the people be a little bit more you know, uh, aware of it at first. You just. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I wasn't financial crisis and guess what they don't want to make it better i'm sure they all campaigned and said oh we're going to help out the economy post covid but right now we are on a cliff over the debt ceiling the debt ceiling that was raised three times under trump and 25 percent of this credit card bill that they don't want to pay was accrued under trump and he only had one term and hopefully he won't have no more we're talking <laughs> about dc right now but the murder rates in red states like Louisiana, mm. Mississippi, mm. Alabama, mm. have statistically exceeded those in blue states like Illinois, New Mexico, and Michigan. Pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it, pause it. Chicago's having a terrible problem right now. Michigan don't got a high murder rate? Yes, they do. Yeah. She just said they do. She just said that they Louisiana, do. Alabama, but Louisiana, Michigan, okay, we all know why them three do. So that, that, that's easy. It's the population in but Michigan, gonna, Illinois, and all that higher I'm, than Louisiana, I'm gonna, Alabama, I'm going to keep it 100, but the counties that really have the highest states are blue counties. Yeah. Yeah, because it'd be all in New Orleans. Those are the blue counties. Yeah. But y'all know that for sure though. Yes. 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 You can look it up. Bro, yeah. you don't be paying attention when you out there unless you know who's well, right. Right. That's that's the, the Louisiana that that is we all know why so, that's happening. We seen it firsthand. First hand. We seen the field with them. I'll tell you. Mississippi. <laughs> 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 
Okay, nah, okay, okay. okay I'm okay. sorry, bro. But I want to hear that point one more time. Back up. Right now, but the murder rates in red states like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama have statistically exceeded those in blue states like Illinois, New Mexico, and Michigan every year since 2000. Damn. The fact is, it's not surprising about, because you know we got street poor. All those different cities in Louisiana. Baton Rouge. With a lot of. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. No, we can't say that. If you go, if you go off the counties, your counties are blue counties. Okay, but look though, but that might be me off. We don't know what street port is. We don't know what all the other cities. New Orleans. It's still, bro. We know what it is, bro. Like, that. I mean, Illinois has a lot of a lot of problems too. Where's a lot of people? Okay, but that's that's in Chicago. That's it. That's it. Exactly. So I can see why it'll be a state with more cities of black people. I'm just keeping an eye on it, you know, then it would be Illinois because Illinois just has one city with a black people. Yeah. So, you know, um, we can't really it say that. And you got to think about the per capita. So but is that a problem that those guys are able to just go in the gun store and get the gun and stuff? That's not what's causing it. That's what they think. It's the 14 year olds and the 12 year olds. They think that's the problem though. But we got 14 year olds in New York, York where it's bad. Probably a blue state. It's probably blue. It's definitely. And it's bad. Exactly. Bro, they can't ghost guns. You can make a gun off of just ordering pieces and just put it together. So I there's mean, all I, types, I, there's all type of ways to get guns at this point in life. I, I don't know, man. I'm proud of her for being a, a you know articulate black woman, but um, she's the, the mayor. See why? Why does she? Whoa. See why? Does, That's you know, the I'm DC racist. mayor. Might be racist. You, 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 you I'm proud of her. I'm proud of her being our. We, no, we, 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 we all articulate. We don't see a lot of black women in in, in the office like this. You see? You see? You you are part of our name one. I'm just saying. Stacey Owens. Name another one. The one we reacted to yesterday? Mayor Muriel Bowser. Just the hell with that. that. You talking about the girl, the lady yeah. yesterday with the? Yeah, she wasn't making no good points, but she was on. <laughs> yeah. But okay, but well, we mostly see a lot of older white men there, man. I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, just saying though. That's bro, like historic. But that's yeah, a problem though. She sounds though. country. She sounds country. She sounds like she's from the country. Yeah, but I don't think we should be like we should be like. Oh, I'm so like no. We sound like Joe Biden. We sound like Joe Biden. We got to respect that much. That's Joe Biden. That's bro. So it's a victim mentality though. It's not moving forward. It's not. Is is it not applauding this though? Because that's the same thing. What they said. That's a strong white. Women doing that. We're okay. trying to be equal. Well, we right. treat everybody we equal. We smart as them. It's not a good, good so, thing. So we shouldn't apply them like no, I'm not applying, but like you know, apply that. I mean, I, it's, it's not like, really. Um, no, I ain't gonna say it's not normal. normal but in my like, house, you know, it's so we we gonna see it because we are we are. This is the standard. That's the standard. You're right. All right, let's keep going. You're right. You don't talk like that in my house. You get put out. Keeping DC streets crime free. They can't even keep the halls of Congress crime, crime free because we gonna we gonna talk about this because I got twenty four seconds. What does she mean by My that? My freshman colleague has just Come been on, indicted man. on Come. thirteen counts, thirteen felony counts, Ain't right? No. But have they exhibited any courage to say, you know what, we will disallow this in our body? We will make sure that we expel this individual. They have not. Mm. So what I don't want to hear is that they care about crime because if they did, they would start by cleaning up our own house and mind our own business instead of coming after D.C. So thank you so much for your time. This is Democratic Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett of Texas calling out Republicans for their advocacy. Hey, her, her state is considered a high on crime state. Oh, yeah. Yeah. D.C. D.C. Oh, it, boy, they is thugging hard as a motherfucker in D.C. <laughs> really? Hell yeah. yeah. That's a rich state. That's Rob Nation. Yeah, but where the niggas at? That's rich. That's what one of the richest black people are. But where the that's niggas? That's how they Oh, yeah, you're right. Black people and niggas. There's a difference. I'm telling you. I know niggas from DC. They say it is. Trent. Horrific. Arthur just cut her hair and said he loved it. No, yeah, he went out there. He, 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 he lived out there. Oh, yeah, he got married. They need the military. Yeah. He probably was about to The nigga was out there. He was born out there. He was telling dope. Oh, yeah. Dog food. It's Air State though. It's Chicago. I think they can't even have ARs, and you just seen the dude just pull. You can't have nothing on them. I don't think the whole state of Illinois. No. I'm like saying he never even seen a gun range in this fucking life. I think you could have a, a you could have a pistol. I think you might they be. can't have an AR. I think okay, the got that. But you just seen the dude had it under the blank of the carpet, pulled it from under the. Y'all didn't watch that video, did you? Man, I'm just hating that we everybody just trying to figure out what city got the most tweakers and why it has the most tweakers and. Either we gonna keep the guns or we not, and we gonna keep them. Look, Mike. You can't, you, get, can't, you can't get rid of. Them. So that's against that's against that's our constitution. constitution. So that, that, that's what I'm saying. That's the same. Cross out what's on the constitution. constitution. What built America? So if you can do that, that means they can just say, if you feel like you can do that, that's them saying, man, we can abolish the Thirteenth Amendment. <laughs> 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 get back out there. Get back out there. Hey, I'm out. He's a smart McGreen, nigga. He's a dab now.
pretending to care about abuse when their own party's leader was just found liable for that same charge by a jury of his own peers only days ago. Now, some background on this hearing. This was a hearing where Republicans were screaming about crime in Washington, D.C. in order to argue that it doesn't deserve statehood. And I would just say that would be a pretty remarkable reason not to deserve statehood, given that report after report consistently finds that red states have higher violent crime rates than blue states. The think tank Third Way, which is certainly no liberal think tank, analyzed state-level data from 2019 and 2020 to compare murder rates in states that voted for Donald Trump. I'm sorry. Obviously, they do. I mean, is St. Louis a red or blue no, state? No, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Missouri. Yeah. Missouri. 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 Huh? Is it red or I think Missouri is red. High crime rates in Kansas City and St. Louis. That's two in like, both of Missouri. More Missouri. Democrats than voted. Missouri, Missouri was blue. Mm. So they was blue. So St. Louis is one of the highest. Murder Chicago yeah. is one of the highest. Uh, but New York is up there. That's probably the highest. So that's Louisiana actually. is up there too. So. But Louisiana, Alabama, Georgia. That's there for several reasons. It's Louisiana, Alabama. That's the fact that y'all said it's blue. It is. That is crazy. Where? Oh. How is that surprising? Oh yeah, it's, it's black crazy. equals blue. <laughs> yeah, you are right. You are right. You are right. So that is not surprising. But guns are legal, so it's gonna be crime. Wherever guns are, not. No, but that's no. Because in California, where they got all the mass New York. York. But, but gun, that's, you forgot oh, about the drill rap scene, how they talk about the clock, clock, clock. They can't have no clock, clock, clock. So, yeah, they're making it. They're making it. I feel like this is Those guns can't. with switches on it. That's just something you can't um, argue, though. This is just like crimes everywhere, you know? So, mm -hmm. It's just so stupid to be like, okay, we're just gonna have one that, more. The, the state with the lowest, all like the lowest. I think has guns. I forgot what state it was. The member of Vermont or some shit. Like oh, that. it was somewhere up right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Wait, was it with that uh, senator? Maine. Yeah, remember he was talking about it. Was it, was it Maine? Maine react to it? Yeah, yeah. I think it was Vermont. Vermont sounded right. like a state where like I'm never in my life. I think nobody it was Maine, from Vermont. Bro. I think it was probably Maine. You met somebody from Vermont? Hell nah. Is that that's a state? Yeah, yeah, it's like a small state. It's like a tiny square. I'm in Vermont! Like, <laughs> like in the Northeast, they like real like, over there I feel like they were like, educated for real. Like in Vermont and Massachusetts and all that. Maine and all that. Come down to the South, though. What in the hell is this? Y'all reading books. Just trying to picture yourself. Damn, I'm my bitch. About the black lady. I was saying country shit. I ain't got nothing to do with damn black people. With your damn racist fish right. and ass. Right. You act right. just like damn Joe Biden. Right. <laughs> and there's that moment Wait, Joe Biden in the 2020 presidential yeah. election. Yeah. Joe Biden. The report found that murder rates are, on average, 40% higher in the 25 states that voted for Trump than in the 25 states that voted for Biden. Eight of the top 10 states with the highest murder rates in 2020 were Trump voting states, while only two were voting for Biden. The report also found that murder rates increased faster in Trump voting states than in Biden voting states between 2019 and 2020, and a majority of the top 10 states with the largest increase in murder rate were Trump voting states. So let's be perfectly clear here. The increase? fact is that Republicans don't actually yes. give a shit what about the? crime. What? And they what? should. What? And a majority. Wyoming had a 91% increase. Oh, they got a lot of people that live out there, like us out there, too. No, they don't. They no, they don't. <laughs> Damn black no, they don't. There's none. I went there. We look this shit up. No, I went there. That is like actually one of the most least shit black up. states there is. This nigga here. Yeah. They you. told me, oh, the guys, go say, if you take the wrong exit here, they'll go to a place you will. They'll say, yeah. Yeah, but you still have small people. black towns. Too, Let's look it up. Nigga, look that shit up, nigga. You just talking at your ass. All right, look it up. I don't think that they have black people in Wyoming. Bro, we already looked it up. That's one of the least black states. I'm pretty sure it's like that's zero less than one point black. Yeah, what is this? But you don't think they got no small towns? No, so but they think that if they one percent, why would there be black towns? Trump is influencing people to black population by state. Yeah, Wyoming is the one, two, three, fourth lowest. One point nine percent less than two percent. Montana, Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, Vermont. Shout out to the boys in Vermont. Man, yeah, they, they, I don't think that, like, can we blame them on Trump, though, bro? Them putting a MAGA hat on, and it's Oklahoma Trump. got a bigger percent of black people than a lot of states that I'm surprised about. California? But hold on, though, man. This point that he's making, though. people in California, though. Hold on, though. It's, it's, it's just so many people. 300,000 of them. D.C. got the, the most percent of black people. Per capita. Yeah, percent. I don't say percent. D.C.'s probably up there in the murder rate, though. They definitely. They, 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 we've been talking about it with Doug in the yeah, DC. They are, right? They're definitely up there. But can we put this blame on Trump? We can't put it on Trump or Biden all the way. I don't think, man. I think They're it's just saying that Trump Biden because it's red blue. Yeah. yeah. This is a lot of people's fault. 
Like, uh, you can't. This is, man, you, this because you put a man. This is how y'all raise y'all kids. I'm gonna kill somebody. But it is yeah. how you govern in your state, though. So, how your state is being run. Well, to make someone influence, not influence, but to make someone. You can kill. stop. You can probably stop that. How? Because it's, it's a lot of factors into it. So what makes someone want to kill someone? It's behind money. You know that, so you know you can probably possibly go with drugs. But see, okay, but those people, no matter what state they was in, they was gonna do that. Yeah, but so you, how you get the police? You gotta pull, you know, control your policing. But you know, police ain't gonna pull up in time for no murder. murder. Right. They catch it not murder. But how do you how do you fix that? That's that's a hard case to fix. Compared to the rest of the world, we're doing pretty damn good though. Of the top 10 states with the yeah. largest increase in murder, murder rates were Trump voting Trump states. Trump so let's be perfectly clear here. The fact let's is that. Let's keep it a down. When we watch the right side of videos, are they coming with a lot of statistics? Uh, yeah, it's, it's more common, common sense. There's there is statistics. common sense. No, there's, there's, there's different like, statistics that they use, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, they, what's one that they use? Well, besides the gun guy. The gun guy, he had some pretty good statistics, but... I don't know, we watch so, so many, many bro, bro, so specific, bro. But it's different. I was telling them talking more about, like, issues like what they do in the kid. Like, what are the statistics on that? Yeah, yeah they, they try they to say that trans people are, like, when they make up less than 10% of the population, Things like that. Okay. They do do these statistics. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they're all going to be talking about different things. Trans. You statistics on how black people wasn't graduating college and we make up for 50% of violent crime or 13% of the population. Lots of statistics like that. All type of statistics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, yeah. 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 So to say that they're not using this crack Republicans right. don't actually give a shit about crime and they certainly don't view it as a reason to deny statehood to any state. What their real agenda is is to deny the voting rights of anyone who they don't think will vote to advance their MAGA platform. They view democracy as nothing more than an obstacle to their crystal fascist agenda. And if they have to wow. make up some inane reason to deny representation to American citizens for their own benefit, they will gladly do so regardless of the abject hypocrisy. In fact, Congresswoman Crockett ended perfectly by pointing out how Republicans claim to care about law and order while they're still refusing to expel someone like George Santos after he's been arrested and indicted on 13 felony charges. And to make things worse, because of course there's more, Republicans are currently calling to defund and dismantle law enforcement. Here's Republican propaganda machine Fox News just last night. If, if a Republican wins the White House, and Lord help us if that does not happen, but if, <laughs> let's say it's, it's Trump, don't you believe that he has to completely dismantle the FBI and remake it into what it was originally supposed to be? I mean, this yeah. is, can this be saved at this yeah. point? Yeah, but you're right. We're going to need a new president. He's going to have to come in and put the right people at the top. Now, the vast majority of the rank and file agents are great people. After all, they're the ones coming forward and telling us what's going on. It's the folks at the top. Now, the Republicans are out there saying that, oh, when we get in there, well, we need to get rid of the FBI. That's never going to happen. What they need to do is this. They need to appoint a loyalist as FBI director. Kind of the way that JFK appointed his brother to run the Justice Department. You either need a loyalist or you need some guy that you have so much dirt on that he wouldn't even try anything. Unless the members of the FBI begin to care about fidelity, bravery, or integrity, like nothing matters. No. I mean, that is a very sobering <laughs> assessment of what our current FBI is. Yeah, I gotta be remade. I mean, that's gotta be too fun to be made. Uh, reconstitute. Dude, our bro, job, we're go back. Our go back. Plan that later. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta be remade. I mean, that's gotta be defunded, remade, uh, reconstituted. Our job, but we're legislators. Our job is to pass pass legislation, write laws, and pass legislation. So we'll look at that, okay. and maybe most importantly, Maria, is we control the power of the purse, and that's we're gonna have to look at the appropriations process and limit funds going to some of these agencies, particularly the ones who are engaged in the most egregious behavior. So the DOJ and the FBI. Yeah, and, and what I'd really like, frankly, I'd really like for the government just to stay out of the election process. The fact is that Republicans don't actually stand for any of the things that they branded themselves. This is a party that claims to be for family values, only to then turn around and pledge loyalty to a guy who paid out God knows how much hush money for affairs. It's a party that claims to be for states' rights, only to then sign on to the Texas lawsuit attempting to nullify the election results in other states, all because they weren't happy with the results. This is a party that claims to be for fiscal responsibility, only to have added $7.8 trillion to the debt when they had unified control of government. This is a party that claims to be pro-police, only then have voted against state and local funding that would aid police departments. And of course, a party that claims to be for the military, only to turn around and vote against the PACT Act when it was first up for a vote because they wanted to punish the Democrats for introducing the Inflation Reduction Act. 
These things weren't actual values. They were what the Republican Party hid behind while attempting to market themselves to Americans. In reality, here's what the GOP supports. Tax cuts for millionaires and billionaires, banning abortion nationwide, eliminating Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid, banning books, punishing doctors, preventing people from voting, pretending that climate change doesn't exist. Banning certain books. They I'm trying to see, did they really try to defund the police, though? I remember, we all remember, remember that was the, like the BLM thing they were saying. Yeah. You said who was trying to defund the police? Republicans? Trump. Trump. He said that Republicans were, but I don't remember that. I remember in the Georgia, they were trying to build a police city, and then I remember all the Democrats were saying, you can't do that. And BLM was screaming defund the police. We looking up. And we know what they is. Okay. They're scammers of them all. They said tap in. We'll break you guys. You better win, bro. Oh, wait. I can give you 10 bands tomorrow. Be away, Wells Fargo. I don't know. No, him saying that the Republicans really want to defund the police is crazy. There's a lot of things out. I was like, but I know. Let's just finish the video and see what else he's got to say. Coddling fossil fuel companies, eliminating any restrictions that might protect people from gun violence, and refusing to accept the results of any election where they don't win. This is an agenda that has minority support at best. And of course, they'll never acknowledge that agenda outright because it's too unpopular, and so instead, you're left with culture wars and migrant caravans and pretending that immigrants are coming to steal your jobs, and that trans people are going into the wrong bathrooms to assault your kids, and on and on. It is a tactic as old as it is predictable, but the through line is clear. Whatever they can to deceive you. And this newfound concern about abuse from the right, but only when it's convenient, is a testament to exactly that. So they said assault your kids. That did happen. Is this happening at my brother's house? Was NBC? I know that's a neutral uh, news source. I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah. But it says White House. Actually, it's Republicans who are trying to defund the police. Hmm. That doesn't sound right to me. But a lot of times when we see like Officer Tatum videos, he's not necessarily saying like all Republicans do this, all Democrats do this, all these people do this, all people do this. He's like more attacking certain topics and saying what he thinks he yep. is a Republican. With him, he's just, I feel like this is more just like our team, your team. Like, With this guy? For sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, definitely, sure. he definitely is. Instead of for saying for specific sure. things, like they do this and that and that and that. And we do this, this, this and that. But like all Democrats probably don't agree with him, and all Republicans don't agree with us. I don't know. He's just trying to make it seem like Republicans are just straight villains. Yeah. Well, they is villainizing each other on the They all did it to each other. For sure. So that team, they suck. I mean, I've heard all oh, two have demonized them before, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, but we don't. Like all Republicans probably don't agree with everything he said. But he said your kids won't be assaulted. And I said yeah, multiple yeah, kids yeah, 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 yeah. And I'll be messed up if my, my little girl is in the high school locker room seeing a man with a thing out. Johnson swinging. And he just he 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 might smack her with it. I'm just okay, so when people, when people were saying defund the police, they also could be talking about the FBI, though. Yeah, that's what, yeah. Because the FBI, I don't know what the, what's up with that. That's the Federal Bureau. No, it's, not, it's, not, it's not police, though. It's they don't, they don't. Well, I wonder why they're saying they Like, what do they do? I don't know. Yeah, a lot of people been saying they've been grew up in like the dude that's in charge been in there for a long time. Why nobody talk about the CIA? Yeah, because I just yeah, saying, what like, like, what's the difference? What do they handle? That's know. a different, I think they're more. Uh, uh, JFK Jr. said the CIA was uh, started to uh, create wars. See man, all this shit. I don't know what that is. I saw that from Joe Rogan. I don't know what that is. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I saw that part. Though. You got the CIA, the FBI, you got the, the DEA. Like, they were drugs. I know that the DEA is for right. like drugs. You made that up. No, so that's what the bitch was that was in. What the fuck? I don't know what it is. That's what I'm saying. They got CSI, yeah. They got CSI. You got. You got yeah, I guess people are. CSI is a show. That's a real thing. They're yeah, saying that the FBI is real. political. Yeah, man, I don't know. Somebody, we're gonna have to get some more videos because we're gonna see yeah. if we're gonna start speculating. It's a another. federal bureau of investigation. investigation, so it's, it's an investigation. investigation. Yeah, of investigation. So it's an investigation so, I mean, unit. FBI could be one side on some things, like you know, like hiding dirt for a president or just certain things like that. I guess they're just telling, like, man. you know, we don't need to have anybody in there that strictly believes in the Republican Party. To investigate and, stuff and you know, what I'm saying, and, and yeah. I think that's, there. that's why, I mean, uh, this is why we might have been kind of right by saying that we need to do some terms. Yeah, time, limit. Like, time limit. So we got to vote for who so, wants the FBI. And so, like, but I mean, a lot of Democrats now, I so that's a that's a government institution, right? I don't know. I see a lot of bureau. That's yeah, the bureau. Yeah, but that institution. Because he put federal don't mean, and, you know. Because the lady said Trump's, Trump's a criminal. criminal. This guy has said Trump's a criminal. So, 
But even I have that's what I'm saying though. After Republicans now with Trump, they want another president. So but no, Vin Swamy, he seemed like a good guy. He said, I'm gonna get Trump out of jail. But I mean, I'm, he's on, a I'm on people like, like I'm on <laughs> But like but some people like to say it, you know what I'm saying? Like, just because somebody is Republican don't mean they're with Trump. Yeah. Just because someone means they Democrat don't mean they're with Biden neither. I don't think anything off of it. See, but this shit's getting too uh, this too dark because either Trump's Really a criminal or he's not? And somebody's right. You remember Swami's right saying, okay, I think they're just demonizing Trump. Yeah, or these guys are wrong or these guys are right. Trump might be really a criminal or they're just trying to say, man, lock Trump ass up and we don't win. We don't have all the facts here. Yeah. So that's it's, uh, it's getting dirty. Either Trump or they, 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 they said, uh, wrong all the did. stuff that uh, Hillary had did too. And they said uh, the election could have been rigged. We don't know. None of this. So either Trump will be wrongly evicted or he did the crime. Let me say evicted. I mean, wrongly <laughs> accused. And for 400, convicted, yeah. whatever it is, he's gonna be in jail for 400 years, or he's not. Y'all, yeah, yeah it's just, it's, it's, it's not speculating here, brothers. We don't have the facts. Yeah, there's no facts. We need to do some more digging, and uh, well, yeah, we gonna see the facts in next year or two, because it's gonna come on out. Everything that's done in the dark till it comes to light. Hey, we're gonna always talk about this, brother. They gonna carry yeah. this. I wouldn't say up. she shut down the Republican Party on this one. No, I didn't say that. He be boosting with his titles. Yeah, the last two. You got to. I didn't see neither. You got to. You got to. We out of here, man. Y'all let us know what y'all think about this guy. They want some more.